up everyone, Game Master 468 here for the next part of my Sly 2 walkthrough. If you confirm from last time, we just defeated the Contessa and got the Clockwork Eyes. I know this is the portrait of Neela, but trust me, we fought the Contessa last time. And we got the uh, Clockwork Eyes, and now, we're gonna go into Episode 6. And we're gonna meet the next villain, John Bassan. The second to last member of the Claw Gang. So, let's go ahead and jump right into the next episode. Do this. Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Oh. Ugh. That's creepy. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees, with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the claw gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero. But today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like John Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. Because space magic, duh. Before I find out. All right, Sly Cooper and the game. And he who tames the iron horse. Well, I, 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 I don't know. I don't even. I, I just. I. I just. I. Um, fun times. Anyway. Okay, so that's the setup. As usual, we can't play as anyone else until the first mission. Alrighty, dude. Bentley has a trail of how we can get to the clockwork parts. Let's look for the mission. It's up there. Let's go ahead and follow the marker. We got a bunch of trains everywhere, so uh, you might want to be careful when you're running around here, because when you get run over, you instantly die. Yeah, it's one hit kills around these parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, there's the mission right up there. Let's get this guy out of the way so he doesn't become a problem. And let's go over here. See, even Sly gets it. Everything's done by jumping and pressing the circle button. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. And that piece of information that I accidentally talked over is if you hold the left analog stick back, you can make Sly lean backward. So when you press the X button, you'll get a little bit of extra air. It's pretty cool. And we need to head inside here. See what's going on. Alright, so you gotta go through here without getting caught by John Basson, or this happens. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I guess he just kind of stands there and stares at you for all eternity. It's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, we need to take some pictures. Let's go over here, I don't want to get caught. Alright, so we need to take pictures of the maps! I have the map, okay. So, when you take pictures of all the maps in this area, 
And there's also a conversation in the background that I guess I'll just let you guys listen to. Ha 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 and things like that. <laughs> Alright, so that's some information. Some very interesting information. I wonder what's gonna go on. Mm -hmm. Okay, I almost felt my doom, that would be very bad, but here we go! The blueprints are behind the sea bass. Alright, let's get out of here. Jump down here. And so long, Gumpson. Alright, so that's some development that we've heard in the background just then. And we need to get some blueprints for the uh, train tracks and stuff like that. Oh. Good to know. Alright, we're gonna head over there now. It can kinda hard to see the markers in this area because it kinda matches the color of the sky. So it makes it a little hard to see where the markers are. But it's okay, we I can if you just kind of squint slightly, you can kind of make out a marker. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the next one is over here. Let's go inside. Yeah, just walk in and, yeah, you all make me know what's going on. Just, let's kill this guy. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> Alright, blueprint number two. Let's go get the third one. Oh, why'd you jump? Okay. That was, that was scary. Never, ever do that again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get out of here without those guards seeing us. Alright. Okay, so the last one is over there. Oh, gotta wait for the train to go by. Train's crossing. Kids, stay back. It's dangerous. Don't, don't run the train tracks. It's dangerous. <laughs> Just gonna soar through here. Okay, there's the next one off in the distance. I, I didn't want to fall down there. Can I jump? Oh my goodness! You see, kids? That's why you shouldn't run in the train tracks, or you'll end up like that guy. Okay? <laughs> yeah. That was a scary. <laughs> okay, so the next 
and final log cabin is over there. Just gonna paraglide down there. And here we go. Oh. Apparently these log cabins come custom with a surround sound speakers. Okay then, let's grab that blueprint and we're done here. So I'm guessing we just leave now? Okay. Just gonna leave. None of this ever happened. Oh boy, we get to go mountain climbing. That's so much fun. 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 Alright, so we just gotta make it to the top. That's all we gotta do. No, no, no. We gotta make it to the top slot. Don't, we don't need to go to the bottom. It's bad. Let's see, guards going that way. So, just go around. Okay. I don't care if the guy kept his name. Still. Hey, no! Now, okay, now I care. If that's what you're gonna do, you jerk. Fine. Nice guys. Jerks. Okay, one guy down. Two guys down. Okay. Now let's climb up the thingy without being interrupted. I said, let's, let's get off the thing. Thank you. <laughs> Up we go. Yeah, I just used one now. Just now. Okay, let's go ahead and type that in. Whoa! Witness! Alright, slideshow time! Yay! Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lungs and a stomach. John Vassan has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have well the luxury of sneaking in while they're stuck. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town. And then land on the Which just appear for this one mission line. only. <laughs> Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good, dude. Sounds good. Sounds good. Top notch. Awesomeness. Fun times. Awesome. Okay. So, we're going to wait for this guy to walk on by. Thank you very much. Very much appreciate that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, let's see. Where are the missions? Here we go. We got Spice in the Sky. And we got a friend in need. We got a friend in need. <laughs> let's see. Which one I want to do? Because the friend in need one... Well, it looks like it's right there, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, this one looks closer, so I guess we'll do that first. There's a reason why this mission wasn't brought up in the slideshow, and you'll see why in just a second. Clue bottle, give me that. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this mission is all about. Oh? Oh. Oh 
Oh no! Okay, Bentley, you won't be alone. Alright. So we gotta follow Carmelita around so we can, uh, find Murray. So if she will stop going around in circles, that'd be fantastic. Alright, she'll do that occasionally. She'll, uh, look around, so just stay out of her spotlight when she does that. Luckily, she didn't hear that clip ball breaking, which is good. Alright, so let's just stay behind her. I th I'm sure that jump was totally necessary. I mean, just look, there was just a gigantic gap there, right, guys? It was just gigantic. Look at that. Oh, man, I can't believe I made that, guys. Anyway. Yeah, that's a weird thing she does in this game. She'll kill people with her uh, shock pistol, and then she'll look around for a second, and she'll be like, Ah, man, blasted kids. And <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay, so she'll jump down here. She'll take the icicle approach. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> She's walking by the safe house and she doesn't know it. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna look around. You know, we should totally do that more often, just saying. That might give you an advantage, because this is literally the only time in the entire game where she'll do that turning around thing. Because even, cause even after this mission, you can- oh dear. I thought she saw me for a second, I was like, oh gosh. <laughs> well, no, I think when you get caught by her in this mission, it's an instant shot failed, so... If that was the case, then I think I would have failed the mission by this point. But yeah, even after this mission, she'll be walking around the area, and you can get caught by her like a normal flashlight guard. But she doesn't do that turning around thing. This is the only time she does that. It's kind of weird. Okay. Jumping on icicles. She's playing hopscotch over here. Just gonna go over the train tracks in case the train shows up. Because I don't want to get me in old black wing. It's bad. I mean, I like trains and all, don't get me wrong, but, I mean, oh dear. He has a name, you know, gosh, so insecure. Yeah, girl, like, whatever. Oh my gosh, I don't need any of your sass. Ugh. What? Mm, oh, gee, I'm so glad you have so much faith in me. So yeah, this is a pickpocketing mission, guys. We have to pickpocket Carmelita's keys. Let's kill this guy before she gets over here. We have to pickpocket her keys and... Ouch. So we can uh, free Murray. The thing is, the second you pickpocket her keys, she's going to chase after you immediately. As Murray just explained to us. So... Yeah, as soon as you get that key, run for it. So here we go. Let's do this. Key number one. 
Oh, great, great escape, guys. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. We're too cool for you, yo. Too cool for school. Okay. Like we already lost her? Maybe? Maybe? Nope, she's still chasing us. Nah. <laughs> She'll chase you for a really long distance before she loses you. There we go. Yeah, she'll chase you for a really long time. It can get kind of hard to... She's not like the normal flashlight guards where when you get like a... Well, I guess she's kind of like that. And when you get a... Oh my... You... Stupid. <laughs> like, she'll still like stop chasing you when you get a certain distance. But it takes a really, really long distance. Before you, before you lose her. Like, it's way, way longer than the normal flashlight guard. So, yeah, it takes a lot to shake Carmeluda out off of your tail, so just brace yourself when dealing with her. Alright. So we're gonna get her second key. Hopefully we'll have a little less fail this time around. Okay. Oh. Okay. No! Stop it, Carmelita! I hate those mole guys that pop out of the floor. Well, at least just in this mission, like, jeez. I think it's just because I'm still on edge. <laughs> like, okay, no, I don't want to get caught. Please don't do that. Don't, don't sue. Don't sue. Anyway. Yeah, she's still going to be chasing me. You can't catch me from up here. You can't see me. Oh wow. We're just okay. Smart, Carmelita. Okay. Last key, and then we can free Murray. Here we go. Alright. Now let's free Murray. Hashtag free Murray. Okay. Okay, where's the cage? I need the cage. Where's the cage? I need the cage. Not Nicholas Cage. I need the cage. Where's the cage? Seriously, where's the cage? <laughs> Where? I don't, I don't see the cage anywhere. There it is. This way. Okay, I will do that. I have no problems fulfilling that request. Alright, let's get this guy out of the way and they will free Murray. That's not all what I want to do, but whatever. Yeah, just just stand there and watch. Thanks, pal. I was getting a Charlie horse standing in that box. My pleasure. You know how I love to mess around with Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> See you back at the safe house. Okay, dude. Alright, so we did it! We saved Murray! Whew! It's a tough one, guys. Well, it's a tough one. Well, not really. But it's a fun mission. I like that mission. <laughs> Get in the pickpocket to Carmelita's keys and stuff like that. It's a fun mission. Love this game, man. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna go and do the missions that Bentley actually listed in the slideshow now. And... It looks like this bear is about to die, but that's okay, because this is going to be the last mission for this video anyway. So... I'm going to knock you off the cliff, because I can. And I'm going to find that mission. Where is it? Thank you. Jeez, Louise, dude. Okay. Got falling icicles, dude. Just try not to get hit. Look, excuse me. Okay, so here we go. We got spice in the sky. Let's do this. There's the hat glitch again. <laughs> oh my. Like 
it's 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 actually kind of frustrating slide, to be honest. Yeah, clearly. Alright, don't break the ice. That, 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 that's a pun, but... Uh, and that's still a pun, but... No, no, literally, don't break the ice. You'll fall, and you'll drown. I know, I've done it before. Okay, so what you gotta do is you got to use the paraglider to gl land on these balloons. And you have to keep doing that in order to, uh... Fill up your, uh, backpack. You'll gain a little altitude every single time you hit a balloon, which is good. And you just want to keep doing that until your vacuum turns green. When it turns green, you need to land on a caboose. And as Bent was saying, you need to land directly on it. And the trains will always take the exact same path every single time. For all three. That... Let's be honest, that should have killed Sly just there. Just saying. <laughs> right, I'm gonna grab this clue ball, or maybe I won't. Oh wait, yes I will. I'm gonna get both of these clue bottles. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'll, I'll get that on a, a, the next round. Here we go again. And Murray's just silent. And yeah, the balloons are in the exact same positions every single time, so you're basically just doing the same thing three times in a row. Uh, and so do the, the trains. The trains go in the exact same path every single time. So, don't worry. Alright, we're gonna try for this one. Perfect! <laughs> Sweetness! Alright, there's Carmelita off in the distance again. So, where's that marker? I would like that marker. That'd be a fun time. Just saying. There's the marker. Kill you for causing me so much tension in that pickpocketing mission. Alright, I'm gonna try to get this these blue bottles real this time. I already got that first one, so that's good. Go up here. Grab that. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get the last one. And if I remember correctly, the last one's kind of a jerk one. I was lucky enough to not get the jerk train. <laughs> the first two times. Alright. So just like before. Bounce. Paraglide. Bounce. Paraglide. Bounce. Paraglide. Alright, I think one more will do it. If I can find it. I think that, is that it? Off in the distance? Yes it is! Awesome! Okay, so none of those were really jerkish. I remember one of them going into a tunnel, that's why I said one of them is jerkish. Sweetness! Yeah, I remember one of those trains like going into a tunnel and when you do that, you'll more than likely miss the train. You could probably still get to it up on the other side of the train, but it'd be, like, really, really difficult to do that. So, yeah, that's why I said that one was circus, but surprisingly I didn't get any trains going into a tunnel. So, yeah, that was not as bad as I remembered it being, surprisingly. That was actually kind of cool. So, with that, we saw Bentley's mission is next. 
so we'll be doing his mission in the next video, where we will get the first clockwork piece of this level. See you then, everyone.